Hello. Form 1120S checklist. If you have an s -corp or an NLC tasked as an s -corp, it is good to have a checklist to be able to, uh, to follow some strategy that will allow you to file your business tax return at the beginning of the following year without too much problem or uh, even if you are not going to file it yourself you will be able to record your business activities in a way that will allow uh, the professional that will file your return for you to claim the right deductions. We have a checklist put together. It comes with a little code to keep you motivated and the checklist has enough left and right margin for three hole punch binder. So it is a good idea if you have a business binder to put your checklist in it and just keep an eye, an eye on you know, the, um, all the expenses and revenues that you should record so that you can record them in a strategy in a way that will you know allows you to file your own tax return without being stressed about it so we have different type of um, pretty much this checklist just a reminder of different type of uh, expenses or deductions you will report and where they might go on your form 1120s so that when you have those type of expenses, you record them in a way that you'll be able to find them later when it's time to file your business tax return. The checklist is three pages long and it is a digital download as soon as you purchase it, you'll be able to download it and print it out. We might offer a paper print version and a laminated version as well. But it is very helpful and it comes with, you know, the type of how you should record your expenses by activities in case your business has... Um, you are engaged in more than one activity under one business entity, for instance, and the same way you should track your revenues, your incomes as well, so that if you have to attach a, a statement or uh, when you file Schedule K-1, you will be able to record the profit or the loss by activity to allow your partners to be able to um, easily uh, pinpoint the one they materially they materially participated in and the one that they didn't so that if they have a loss a passive loss they don't claim that against a native income and when they have a native income they will be able to claim it against when they have a native loss they will be able to claim it against a native income like salary for instance so you'll be able to find the checklist on liberdownload.com. Thank you so much for your time.